by a show of hands who here loves video games but might not be that great at them. Hi, I'm Sam Hoyle, your Shafter Neighborhood Reporter. But you know who is good at video games? The Shafter High School Esports Club, and they're working with some new digs now. On Friday, the school unveiled its recently renovated computer lab to administrators, and while many clubs or programs will be using that lab, one of its main use cases will be esports. Like traditional sports at the high school level, esports continues to shine in the national and global spotlights, with professional and collegiate teams popping up all over the country. So much so that Shafter High esports team coach Nettie Lopez says her students are actively pursuing colleges that have a team so they can continue competing after high school. Um, a lot of my students, when applying for colleges, actually looked for schools that had esports teams. So not that they are being scouted by colleges, but they are looking for schools that have it, so that way they can continue what they do here at the college level. And as time rolls, the industry is only expected to get bigger. According to a study by Grandview Research, a market research and consulting company in San Francisco, the industry was valued at $1.88 billion in 2022 and is expected to grow by more than 25% year over year until 2030. Looking locally, specifically in Shafter, it's not just about the growth of the industry or being able to play video games at school. It's about providing a sense of community for gamers. It definitely brings people together because the stereotype for gamers is like you're solo bolo and you're just by yourself and you're all, all for one. But whenever you're in esports, it's kind of like a team effort. You bring everyone together and you kind of work as a team. It's given me I, kind of like the push I need academically and socially. Because when I came into freshman year, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know who to talk to. This club has helped me talk to people and, you know, help me keep my grades up in check. Now, esports isn't just happening here in Shafter. It's happening all over the world. But when we look locally, again, not just Shafter. According to current high school district officials, about 20 schools have some form of club or esports program on campus. In Shafter, I'm Sam Hoyle, your neighborhood reporter.